Okay, in this video we'll look at a second example of error propagation. And uh, this one deals with the resistance in an electrical wire. The resistance in a wire uh, is given by is is um, given by some constant divided by the radius of the wire. Okay, the bigger the radius, the smaller the resistance. That would be like a garden hose. A garden hose. If a garden hose had a had a big radius, or let's say a fire hose has a big radius. All right, there's a, there's a low resistance to, to water. A lot of water can come out. But if it has a small radius, like a garden hose, then it doesn't let as much water out. It resists the flow of water more. The same thing works for, uh, for electrical wires. And so let's suppose that K is just some constant of proportionality. R is the radius of the wire. And assume that the, measure, that the measurement of the radius has a possible error of plus or minus 5%. Let's estimate the percentage error in the in the um, in the resistance. Okay. All right. In this case, we want to first of all point out that if if we look at at um, area, say of a circle, all right, or area in general, all right, the the error in the area divided by the area of itself is the relative. Air in area. All right. All right. Now this has nothing to do with this wire. I just want to point out something. Or if we have the length of a rectangle, the air in the length of a rectangle divided by the length itself is the relative air in the length. The relative error in anything is the error in that quantity divided by the quantity itself. So what we'll have here is that the the error in the resistance is going to be delta R, capital R, divided by capital R itself. And the error, this would be the relative error in resistance. And the relative error in the radius would be delta little r divided by little r, little r representing the radius, okay, would be the relative error in the radius. Keep in mind, lots of students make this mistake that, that, um, that mathematics is case sensitive. Mathematics is case sensitive. So, so you want to be sure that you follow the case when you're when you're you cannot just replace lowercase letters or variables by uppercase variables because t lots of times they'll they'll represent different different quantities in this case uppercase rep r represents resistance lowercase r represents radius and recall there from above it's off the screen now so i'll write it here r is given by k over a capital r i should say is given by k over little r squared and so let's start to look at the, the relative error in the resistance. That will be delta R, delta capital R, divided by R. And we can approximate this by the differential in the resistance divided by the resistance itself. And this differential in the resistance is the derivative of the resistance, capital R, with respect to little r, the radius, times the differential in little r, the radius, all right, divided by capital R. Now let's see, since this is the, since this is, this is the rate, the resistance, the derivative of the resistance with respect to the radius is going to be negative 2k over r cubed. Think of this as k times r to the negative second, and you'll get that result. And so we'd have, this is going to be, all right, negative 2k over r to the third times dr. All right, will be this expression in the numerator. And the denominator is just k over r squared. So let's invert and multiply, and we'll get negative 2k over r 
cubed times r squared over k times dr. And and let's let's say look the k's here cancel. All right. Two of the r's cancel, leaving an r in the denominator, and what's left is going to be negative two times dr over r, which is for the input, this is precisely negative two times delta r over r. Which and this delta r over r is the relative error in the resistance. Well, the percentage error in the resistance was was plus or minus um, plus or minus five percent, I believe it was. Yes, plus or minus five percent. So, so the the delta R over R is going to be plus or minus zero point zero five five percent. Now expressed as a decimal, and so the relative error in the resistance is approximately because remember we've approximated this with differentials um, negative 2 times plus or minus 0 0.05 and that would be well when we use the positive if this were positive error all right a positive percentage error the whole result would be negative so positives on top negative will be on top if this were a negative percentage error all right the whole thing would be positive negatives on the bottom so positives on the bottom two times 0 0.5 0 0.05 is 0 0.1 and so this would be minus or plus 10 percent so that would be the percentage error. Notice we didn't have to know the resistance or the actual error in the resistance or the error, actual error in the in the radius or the you know the radius value itself. All right, we were able to do this just just using our differentials. And so this this computation seems like when we have a five percent um, uh, percent five percent error in the in the radius, it seems to double the error when we computate the level the percentage error when we compute the, the resistance so this this computation would tend to magnify would tend to magnify the error